build the frame with a C perch, you'll need four three quarter inch pieces of PVC piping, four one and a half inches, two two and a half inches, two four inch pieces, four two four and a half inch pieces, and four five inch pieces. Also, you'll need ten pieces of joint corner joints with a hole cut in the corner so that water can drain in and drain out after you assemble it. Also you'll need four T-shaped joints. Alright, to begin we're going to take the four inch pieces and put two T-joints on the end. You can press firmly until it won't go any further. And do the same for the other four inch piece. Now on the end of these, we're going to add a one and a half inch piece into this end, and then one into the other end, and repeat for the other piece. Now we're going to take the five inch pieces and put one of these joints on the end of every single piece. For two of these pieces, you'll need to add another one of these on the other end. Now we'll take the four and a half inch pieces and put two of these on each piece, like this. And repeat for the other piece. Now we'll put the pieces together. On this, we'll add a 5 inch piece on one end, and then we'll put in a 2.5 inch piece on the other end, and repeat for the other piece. So now we have two sides of the C perch. We're going to connect the two halves with a four and a half piece along on top of the two and a half pieces, like so. And also, you take the other four and a half piece and put it towards the end with a five inch piece. Push firmly once again. And now, we have to put these two pieces, both five inches, and we'll connect them to this end. Next, we'll have to insert these. Now, with the four remaining three quarter inch pieces, we're going to put them in the end of this. We're going to put one in each end, and this will later hold the buoys that will help keep the sea perch afloat. Now, here we have two rods, each beams, and then we have two buoys. We're going to slide each beam through each of these and insert it like this. Push it through to one end, and then you can pull this open slightly and stick in the other end. Now repeat the other side. Now we finish the frame for the C perch.